to another episode of Kids Church. Woo! Kids Church. Kids Church. So excited to have you guys here. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be phenomenal. You're not going to believe all that's going to happen. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? What's that? Attention one. Attention all. I am Dr. Destruction. I have tapped into the kids' church video feed. There's been too much worshiping, too much praying, and too many Bible lessons. You have exactly one minute to shut everything down, Pastor Danny, or Bobo gets it. Don't listen to him, Brother Danny! Quiet, you blue-furred munchkin! You have one minute. That's 60 seconds. Oh no! We have to save Bobo and stop Dr. Destruction! Will you guys help? Good! Good, good, good! There's only one dynamic duo that I know of that has the ability to stop this Dr. Destruction. He told me that if I ever need to call him, I can call him on my secret watch. It's Captain Amazing and his sidekick, Night Ninja. This is Captain Amazing. Captain, this is Brother Danny at the Pentecostals of Lafayette. Dr. Destruction has kidnapped our friend Bobo and, and, and I mean, it's, gonna, it's getting really crazy. He's just telling, telling us he's gonna stop kids' church from happening and, and we got all these kids watching right now and I just, he's gonna hijack our video and we, he's not gonna, we just need your help, we need your help. Not to worry, we are on the way. Well, gang, looks like Dr. Destruction is trying to hijack Kids Church, but we're gonna take him down. Who is this Dr. Destruction, Captain Amazing? Well, he used to help out with Kids Church back in the day, but now all he wants to do is stop it. Have no fear, he won't succeed. He, he cannot succeed with Captain Amazing and his sidekicks, Night Ninja, and Wonder Woman on the case. That's right! Let's see how well they worship without their precious sound system. <laughs> hey guys, let's pump up the crowd with an action song! Yeah! Yeah! Are you with me? Yes! I'm right! I want you at home and everybody here. Biggest, loudest DJ roll that beat you can muster up. Ready? One! Two, three, DJ Roll That Beat! Ah, I don't think that was loud enough. Do you think that was loud enough? You think it was? I thought we could have, we could have made we it a little. Better. We definitely could do better. All right, let's get it, get it right there. And it's gonna come out here, right? Ready? One, two, three, DJ Roll That Beat! We should have heard it. Hey, George, what's going on with the sound? Brother Danny, the sound equipment isn't working. Ah, it's just not working. There's no sound. The problem here. There's no power. Let's check down here. Ah, look at this, Night Ninja. We're not connected to the power source. You see, when there's no power, when we're not connected to the power source, we don't have any power, much like our worship. Our worship is what connects us to the power source. You know who that power source is? God. Correct, good job. That was an amazing answer. So when we connect to God, we'll have the power. That's what our worship does, it connects us. So let's connect this. There we go. There we go. And we should have power. Yes, yes, got power. Now let's go. Yes. He's the one who made the sunshine. He's the one who 
puts the moon in the sky He's the one who hung the star You're right, Night Ninja. But what would he be keeping us from? Prayer! Prayer! You know what? I don't believe this is a list from Brother Danny. I believe this is a diabolical scheme from that Dr. Destruction. I say we go into prayer right now. Yeah. Now, what are some things we can pray about? Ah, pray for all the kids that don't have the Holy Ghost. That's something they need. That would be amazing. Also, what if, do you know anybody that's sick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can pray for all those that are sick right now. There's plenty of it right now. And God can heal them. I believe it. Do you believe it? Yes. All right. That's amazing. And what's something else we can pray for? Wonder Woman, where are you at? Right here. Well, come here. What's something else we can pray for? Come stand right here. What's something else we could pray for? Here, close to Doc. 
chapter Maybe nine. God and the Holy Ghost. Yep. All right. So we're going to get everybody to have the Holy Ghost and everybody that's sick to be healed. What about everybody that's like at home and they're kind of going stir crazy or they may be getting sad? Because there's a lot of people that aren't able to get out right now. So let's pray for all those people. Get rid of this. So we're going to pray right now. So you want to do your hands like this? We're going to pray like that. All right? And bow our heads. Close our eyes. And we're going to say, Jesus. Jesus. Touch everybody. Touch everybody. Bye. Touch everybody that doesn't have the Holy Ghost. Touch, touch everybody, everybody that doesn't have the Holy Ghost. Ghost. And fill them up with it. And fill, fill them, them up, up with it. it. And heal everybody that is sick. And heal everybody that is sick. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And touch everybody in every situation and all those that are staying home. And touch everybody in every situation and all those that are staying home. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good job and good job at home. Way to go helping us pray. That was amazing. Foolish heroes, you will not succeed. It's hard to have a Bible lesson without a Bible. <laughs> there he is, gang. Now's our time to get him. Let's go! Join me and stop this foolishness of kid church. Be my ally. I will never join you. Join me because I am your father. Night Ninja, no, no. He's done, but now's your chance to show mercy. 
We always say we want to be like Jesus, right? Yes. Well, let's be like Jesus. I'm sure there's some good in your dad. No matter what he's done, I'm sure we can show him mercy at this point. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Dad. We have a lot of catching up to do. But first, let's go find a place to pray. I think that would be a good idea. That's amazing. You guys go pray. I'm going to go ahead and get this Bible back to Kids Church to Brother Danny so we can do the Kids Church lesson today. Much better. That's amazing. Oh, wow. You got the Bible back in just in time for today's lesson. We have been quite an adventure today, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself and everything that's happened so far, but I really want to get into the Word today. So with everything that's going on, Brother Danny can relate here, he can get a little crazy staying in the same house. Do you agree? You're always around the same people, and soon everything they start doing gets on your nerves just like little ticks that just aggravate you even like the littlest things that annoy you like the way they chew their food you're like oh my gosh look how they chew it they're like a cow or maybe they're thinking too loudly you're like can you please think a little bit softer but or maybe they won't leave you alone like your little brother or sister keeps coming in your room and you're trying to just get away and you're like getting so mad and so aggravated that sometimes you may even explode and say some things that you don't really mean or on the other end, maybe you're getting super lonely. Don't have anybody to hang out with and spend time with and you're just by yourself and you do everything that you could but now you just start getting really sad and you're upset in this current situation. You see, I wanna remind you that in both situations, God is here to help us. He is still Lord of everything and he knows exactly where you are and how you feel. So today's lesson is going to cover that there are two ways to handle this situation that we're in. Two ways. Now, I hope you have your Bibles ready. You should have them ready every time you come to church. Have your Bibles ready. We're going to go to Luke chapter 23, verse 39. Go ahead and open up there. Luke 23, 39. Jesus is going to show us how to handle this situation with the two men that were crucified with him. All right? We're going to go to Luke 23. 39, it says, And one of them, which were hang railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. So that one of these guys that was hanging up there, he said, If you're the Christ, save, save, save yourself and save us. But the other guy said, Be quiet. Don't you fear God? Seeing that you are in the same condemnation, you're in the same punishment as me. He said, We indeed, we're, we're receiving this justly. We're due this reward for our deeds. But this man, this Jesus, he's done nothing. He's sinned not. We've been sinners. He hasn't. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today you're going to be with me in paradise. Two different men in the exact same situation at completely opposite of one another. See, both are upset and both realize they have not lived a good and godly life. But one of them sees that the Lord of the situation is right there next to him. He's the one that said, if you be the Christ, the one, the one that didn't realize that the Lord of the situation was right there. He said, if you be the Christ, he doesn't realize who Jesus is. He said, if you be the Christ, if you, if you can deliver us, if you're that great, I am. See, the other man, he knew who Jesus was. He was like, hey, hey, be quiet. Because we're in the both, we're in the both situation, we're in the same situation. We're both in the same situation. We're being punished here because we've been sinners. But this man, this is the God, the spirit inside us, the God that created everything. He's the God of all creation. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? Do I need to rewind it? The 
God of all creation. That means everything that was created, every tree, every animal, every mountaintop, every valley low, every sea, God created it all. But he also created every situation, including the one they were in right then and there. You see, God's over every single situation. Come on, say that with me. Every single situation. He's over every single one of it, including yours. He knows where you're at right now. See, I know you may not like what's been going on with, you know, schools being canceled. Well, you may like schools being canceled, but you may be missing your friends. And you're always at home. And you're not being able to go play with your friends because you just got to stay home. We're all quarantined. Maybe you're like Brother Danny. You get a little sad. And you miss coming out to kids' church. and You miss all your friends in kids' church. Whatever the case may be. Whether you're going crazy <laughs> because all these people all around you all at the same time or you're feeling down and depressed. I want you to be encouraged today because God is with you right now. Whether it's in your living room, in your bedroom, on the road, in a car, I don't know, wherever you're at, at the park, maybe you, you broke quarantine rules and you got out. Wherever you're at and you're watching this, he wants to comfort you. He's got a plan and he's working it out right now. See, the man on the cross realized Jesus was Lord over his situation and was told that he would be with Jesus in paradise. Jesus told him, because you realize who I am and what I can do, you're going to be with me in paradise today. See, Jesus brings us forgiveness. Jesus brings us peace. Jesus brings us joy. Maybe because of everything that's been going on, you've said some things you shouldn't have said. But let's talk to Jesus this morning. Because he's going to help our hearts get right. We're going to be able to apologize to that person. We're going to apologize to God. And we're going to get right with him. Because he's the creator of this situation. And if he's the creator of the situation, we put our hands in his hand. And we let him lead us and let him guide us. He's going to bring us to that right spot. He's going to bring us where we need to be. He's going to be with us. If we pray, if we talk to him, He's going to be able to change us. Two ways we can handle it. We can get mad. We can get upset. We can do things that we know is sin. Or we can sit there and say, you know what, God, I trust you. Placing my life in your hands. Trusting in what you're doing. That you're in this situation. That you're working this situation for my good. Because I believe you, God. I believe in your word. So God, remember me. Forgive me of my sins. Remember me. So I want every head bowed, every eye closed. But I want you to just begin praying right now. We're going to start with that repentance. God, forgive us. Forgive us for every mean thing we said. Forgive us for lying. Maybe we cheated. Lord, forgive us for stealing. God, forgive us for having those bad thoughts. God, forgive us for not trusting in you today. God, I pray, Lord, that your forgiveness would flood our lives. Oh, Lord, that that mercy would come down and wrap around us. God, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for forgiving me. Forgive me of every area of my life that displeases you. Thank you, oh God. Lord, and I love you, and I praise you, and I worship you. That's it, right there, right there. I want you, once you're done repenting, you take as much time as you need while this music plays. But once you're done repenting, I don't want you to just stop at repentance. I want you to begin to love Jesus, begin to praise and worship him. As his spirit fills that living room, as his spirit fills that area that you are in, you let it come inside of you. You let his spirit come inside of you. It may feel good, but what's going to happen? You're going to know that his spirit's inside of you is because you're going to begin speaking with that heavenly language, speaking in another tongue as his spirit gives you the utterance through you. So you let God move in your life right now. As this music plays, you just keep saying, I love you, Jesus. I praise you. I worship you. I want to live for you. And you let him speak through you and let him work on your heart and help you in this situation. God, I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. God, I love you. I adore you. I praise and worship your name. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are that great creator. You are that I am. God, and I place my life in your hands. God, lead me and guide me. Work on my heart. Work on my life. Of any attitudes, forgive us of anything that should not be in our hearts and our minds. 
Touch our family, touch our home, touch our, our friends, our relationships, Lord. Keep us at school, protect us. Lord, I thank you for our family. I thank you for everything you've blessed us with. Forgive us of anything that's in our hearts that would be a distraction to, to you. Help us to be closer to you. Help us to draw closer to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We trust you and we love you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy and your grace upon our lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Uh -huh.